Hi, I'm Mo, and I'm uh, Marina's mom, as you can see. I've lived in five countries, raised two children, done a lot of cooking. So I think I'm really ready for my first cooking show. My mom has always been the most, like, the closest person in my life. We've had a really, really strong bond. My dad was gone for a lot of my childhood. Like, he traveled a lot, so I grew up mostly with my mom, and she's always been mother and father to me. And, like, I grew up eating a lot of home-cooked food. Unfortunately, with my kind of hectic schedule, I never really ended up learning how to cook. My Indian cooking journey started actually when I was living in Germany. I had this desperate craving for Indian food. And then that's the time I said, like, either I go down and learn by myself or like I have to deny myself, like, you know, Indian food for the rest of like uh, my life. I hope you guys enjoy it with us while I learn the best of the best from the best of the best. first season of No Worries Curry. I'm Marina Lang and this is my mother Mo Lang. We're so excited to be here today and cook our first dish, Indian chicken tikka masala. What do you think about chicken tikka masala? It was actually created by Bangladeshis who moved to the US. They improvised on like, you know, the chicken curry and then there was this new like dish which was created which was called chicken tikka masala. The peacock is the national bird of India. And the lotus is the national flower, so it's very symbolic of Indian culture. Got it all here in an apron. Today we have all the ingredients for chicken tikka masala. Coriander powder, cumin seeds, garam masala, onions, turmeric powder, ginger, garlic, chilies. What does turmeric do? Turmeric actually has a lot of medicinal purposes. It's an antioxidant and it's very anti-cancerous. Are these chilies actually spicy? They are spicy. As long as you don't break the chili, uh, it doesn't get really like hot. Well, I guess no spice for me. <laughs> okay, so Marina, let's get cracking. All right, we got some vegetable oil. All you right. can use uh, any kind of oil, like sunflower oil, vegetable oil. Olive oil too, if you want like a healthy version of everything. When the oil heats up, you know, you need to put the onions. Okay. Is it gonna sparkle in my face? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. All right, let's do onions. The more onions, the merrier. Now I just keep trying how long and then Yeah, you put in half a spoon of uh, garlic. Okay. Half a spoon of like ginger. Okay, half a spoon of ginger. So okay. let it fry a bit. Or onion, garlic, ginger paste has to be ni nicely brown. So I've read often that they often put like ginger paste and garlic paste, but we're doing it actually with small cut up pieces. <laughs> paste doesn't make good taste. Okay, so now you can see that the onions, garlic and ginger are nicely browned. So it's time to put in the spices. So Marina, start with turmeric. Okay, half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. Quarter teaspoon of cumin. You have to stir it. Okay. Right, can you put in the tomatoes, please? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think, do I kind of squash the tomatoes? Yeah, you need to squash the tomatoes and make it into a nice, nice paste. Okay, let's put in a little bit more of oil. How much salt? It's half a teaspoon. You have to put in the yogurt. And there's also some whipped cream. Do I put that in at the same time? Uh, no, at, at the end. Okay. You have to go hard on your yogurt because this is, this is actually, this has a very creamy texture. And now we have to wait till it becomes into a like, nice, smooth, creamy paste. That'll take about like, you know, five minutes. You have to put in the tomato paste. Not the whole thing, about half a can. What is left is like just, to, you know, to put the chicken in. Heavy cream cilantro. Yeah, heavy cream cilantro and we all know about Do we that. need chilies in there as well? One chili maybe? Uh, yeah, I think you can put in a chili because, you know, these chilies are not really spicy. Get rid of the stem. Okay. Uh, you know, this is now turned into a like nice creamy paste. And so now it looks we, beautiful. Yeah, it looks really beautiful. So now we can add the chicken. You put the in, uh, half of that in. And now we put it on simmer and we wait till like it's cooked properly, which could take about maybe five to ten minutes. 
Okay, so, Mom, I have actually some questions for you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, tell me two things that I really don't remember from my childhood. I remember tricking you into eating spinach or lamb, actually, because you hated red meat right from the beginning. So I used to make lamb with spinach and then, you know, tell you that it's chicken and trick you into eating it. But, uh, you know, it was like not very long before you discovered that, like, you know, that you were being tricked. Honestly, this story is not true. I knew instantly when I tried it, I was like, that does not look like the color of chicken, mom. Who makes lamb tikka masala? Does, does anyone make lamb tikka masala? Yeah, I think a lot of people, are. actually the two main um, meat dishes in India are like chicken and lamb. But why is that? Like, why, why not like beef or why not? Uh, Beef is, uh, it's considered sacred by the Hindu population, but the Muslims in India, they enjoy beef a lot. So there's a lot of beef dishes too. Okay. Now you can see that the chicken is like really well cooked and uh, it's time to like, you know, put the finishing touches to this dish. You can put in uh, one tablespoon of sour cream. Okay. All right. Or maybe another one too, okay. because nice like, and yeah, thick. yeah, nice and thick and creamy. Okay. And our dish is almost done, ready to like you know be eaten. Yeah, we have to just like finish it off with cilantro. Okay. Like cilantro or coriander, mix it into a nice consistency. Are you impressed with my rice cooking skills? Yes, I am. She always says my rice is not good. Now, Marina, can you take the chicken tikka masala and put it on top of the rice? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so now you need to put a garnish. Uh, with, we're garnishing it today with cilantro leaves or coriander. All we have to do is I'll try it. All right, I'm excited. Mmm. That's good. Oh my God. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what, what we call, call a no, no worries, worries chicken tikka masala. masala.